Okay, so today we're going to show you guys how to make your own gang row for the stickers that we offer. Uh, we offer either white and clear vinyl, or we also offer holographic. For example, we're just going to stick to the normal ones, uh, which is basically white vinyl, the most common one. Um, you're going to select what size gang row you want to be using. We offer 25 by 24 or 25 by 36. Maybe more sizes will be av uh, available in the near future. So let's say 25 by 24. We are going to go ahead and open up Illustrator. Then we're going to open up a 25 by 24. Pictures and inches. RGB, you want to make sure it's at 300 dpi. And basically that's where you're going to start ganging up all your, uh, your different images. Uh, for example, we already have one here where we've grouped uh, several couple images. You want to make sure that um, this is your full CMYK layer before your spot gloss or anything like that. So this is going to have all your artwork. You don't need to do the cut lines. We could do the cut lines for you um, as long as it's vector artwork. If it's a PNG, we could use PNGs as well, but then you will need to do your own vector cut lines so we could use the file. So for this sample, all we've done here is basically uh, group different images and we added the cut lines. So then basically we'll save this. And we'll name it CMYK layer. And we're saving as a PDF. Okay, so now for your spot UV layer, basically all you're going to do is just hide uh, whatever parts of the artwork you don't want them to be raised or, you know, to have that 3D effect on them. So here we already have that created. Basically, we hit all the layers. We didn't want them to be glossy. So if you see... If we turn on back the layer where all the the entire image is at, you, you could see that there's a lot more going on versus the one that only has what we want what we wanted to print raised. And then once you have that, then you're gonna go ahead and save this in the, this other file as a PDF as well, and we're gonna name it Spot UV. Then you're going to go back over to our website. If you're submitting a vector, you select what type of cut you want to run your graphic. Let's say cut to shape. For the first upload here, you're going to select the first um, the first file that we saved, the CMYK layer, which basically contains your entire graphics and designs. And then for your raised UV layer only, you're going to select just the other uh, the other file that had only what you wanted it to be raised in 3D. And then you're going to select the quantity that you want for each gang file. Like if you want two copies of the same gang file, three copies, etc. 
and then we just hit add to cart after it finishes uploading. We do also uh, also offer um, white ink printing, but if you put to print white ink, then this down here will disappear. So we cannot print the white ink and the race layer at the same time. So basically, uh, if you print white ink, uh, we you will not have the option to use the race spot UV layer. White ink is mostly used for like clear vinyl, so you could have opacity and stuff like that if you're putting it on a glass or a window. That's about it. This is how, this is basically how you use our gangrel section for the UV stickers.